Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jacqueline and I moved across the country from New Jersey to LA two years ago and it's been quite a shit show to say the least. My first year here, I went like the lowest I'd ever been mentally, emotionally, financially. It was the worst. So I really have been trying to climb back up out of that hole and find a way to make this work for me here. And I think a lot of people go through that their first year in LA, like they stay here for a year and they either leave or they decide that they're gonna stay and make it work. And that's what I decided because honestly, LA is a great place. It's a great location. You can literally drive to like anywhere in California from here and it's not too far. There's so many things you can do. You can just wake up and say, hey, I wanna go to the beach today or hey, I wanna go to the mountains. There's endless options and it's really a beautiful place, but there's a lot of darkness here and it's easy to get sucked into that and I definitely did and now I'm really at the point where I need to make some major changes in my life. Even if I wasn't in LA, I would still need to make these changes but I thought moving here would kind of change everything for me and that's not the case. If anything, it just makes your issues 10 times more noticeable and I've definitely realized what my issues were and what I was running from and you really have to go through it. You can't just pretend it doesn't exist and like start a new life for yourself. It really doesn't work that way because you are with you your entire life. Whoa. With all of that being said, I came to the decision that I'm going to cut out alcohol, cigarettes, because I'm from Jersey, we smoke cigs, and that's a habit that I picked up that I need to get rid of. And another habit that I picked up in Jersey was smoking a lot of weed, and coming out here, you're allowed to do it wherever, whenever. My problem is, I see other people that are like functional stoners and whatnot, and I'm like, oh, I can do that too. but. I can't do that and I learned that in high school like I would go home and then not do my homework because I would go and smoke with my friends and that brought me also to the realization that I do a lot of these things to like have friends so like even in LA I'll go to these parties and I'll indulge in all these things that I don't necessarily want to indulge in but I'm just doing it because everyone around me is doing it and I'm like okay like I like being social I like having friends like I'm the party girl yeah that's me I'm the down bitch but really that's not what makes my soul happy at all and the hardest part for me trying to figure all this out was that I like being social so I was telling myself like oh I can find a balance like let's try to get sober but let's still try to go to parties and just like say no but it doesn't work like that so I need to like kind of remove myself from that scene for a little bit and if there are opportunities where I do think it's worth it to go out for networking or whatever um, I'm gonna bring my camera with me and film it and you guys can see like that'll be my reason to stay sober and this is going to be my first full week I kind of did a trial run the past like month or so and I announced it on my Instagram that I was gonna get sober but I've gone out and I kind of slipped up a little bit and then people are like hey I thought you were like sober and I'm like Touche. But also another reason I want to do this is because I want to talk about like what really it takes to be in LA because nobody talks about it. Like I literally had people tell me like, oh, just let people believe the illusion. And I'm like, no, like I want to tell people what's really going on here. And the truth of the matter is LA is just like a playground. You can have anything you want whenever you want, whether you have money or not. Like if you're a pretty girl, like you can literally just, you don't even need money. You'll get invited to places. You'll like get drugs shoved in your face every 20 seconds and it's just, it's a lot. And you really gotta learn to like stand your ground and have your boundaries and know what you can and can't do because you know where it leads you. And growing up in Jersey too, like everyone just party. And people do these things to kind of just distract themselves from their reality. But the reality is I like me and I like my life and I have things to do here. So those people that I'm out partying with at 2 a.m., those aren't people that I actually wanna be like. So I really started to realize. Just realizing stuff, and everyone around me were all just like realizing things. Okay, Jacqueline, you wanna have friends, that's great and all, but these people aren't gonna get you to where you need to go. Even if I'm partying with these famous people, like, they're still them, and I'm still me, and I still leave feeling like shit because I'm like, I'm not where they are. But really, what you don't see is what they had to do to get to where they are. And yeah, maybe they're partying now, and they have a whole team that can like do things for them, so it makes it easier to balance like partying and this and that. But for me, I don't have anyone. I'm doing this all on my own, so I need to get my energy up. I need more time to get things done. So I'm just gonna share some of the reasons why I wanna do this and maybe you can relate and maybe write down your reasons why you would wanna do this with me. I have it written down here. Um, but for me, like, I get tired all the time. I'm always exhausted. I have low iron, which my doctors told me, so that could be it. But also, like, I need to not be doing things that make me more tired, like smoking weed and, like, going out and partying and then coming back and being, like, so dead 
that I have to stay in my bed for like two, three days just to recharge. That's not normal either. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm never gonna go to a party in LA again, but for right now, I need to kind of remove myself and build that steady foundation so that when I do go out, I, it, it's not even an option for me to do any of those things. It's just like, I'm here to say hi, I'm here for a certain reason. Other than that, like there's no just going out to go out. And so I've been doing all this research on like how to actually change your life because changing is so hard, like it's nearly impossible when you have all these habits and like layers that have kind of been piling on top of you your entire life or how you cope with things that happen to you, how you get through life and all of that. And I'm at a point where I just need to shed all of that off because it's dimming my light, it's not making me brighter. don't know is that I came from a really dark childhood and um, a lot of my life was me just kind of getting by and I kind of just want to show people that no matter how dark of a place you came from you can really change your life and make it what you want it to be because a lot of people don't think that they think you know I'm just like a victim of this and this is how I am and this is how I've just arrived to live my life and it really breaks my heart to see that because when we're like making ourselves smaller we're letting our abusers win but we deserve to win we deserve to take that power back and we deserve to make our life what we want it to be and for me like when i was younger my life wasn't what i wanted it to be my family growing up wasn't what i wanted it to be but now i'm seeing that like i can still make that happen i can be a great mom when i have kids and i can make my family what i want it to be it doesn't have to be like what it was for me and that alone gives me peace and gives me the ability to like let go of my childhood because now i know i can fix it for the future for my kid and end that generational trauma or kids, whoever, however many I have. We'll see, I need to find a husband first, but we'll see about all that. And you know, getting sober and taking care of myself is also gonna be a part of that. Like, I say that I want like the stability and all these things, but then I'm out here like being this crazy party girl and doing all these things that don't align with what I want. I kind of put out this image to the world of myself and it's not actually who I am. So then I'm not even attracting what I actually want. I'm attracting all the things I don't want. And it's like this endless cycle of misery. So not only am I doing this for myself and for you guys, but I'm also doing this for my future children because I need to get my shit right so that I can be the best parent I can be. And I'm 22 right now. What better time to really work on myself than right now? It's also not just getting sober. Like I need to take care of my health too. Like I don't work out ever. I was fed like TV dinners my whole life. Like I need to actually learn how to eat healthy and stuff because that really wasn't taught to me. So I think the first step to changing your life is sitting back and assessing what isn't working and figure out what you need to change in order to get to where you want to be or like figure out who the person is that you want to be and what that person would be doing every day. It might feel weird because you're like, I can't even think that far in the future. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what I want. And the first thing is you need to decide what you want to. And that's the hardest thing for me. I'm always like dipping my toes in a bunch of different things and then like not seeing success in any of them because you got to pick like one thing. And my one thing that has never changed is that I wanted to do YouTube and build a community of people that we can all just kind of feel understood. I never felt understood growing up. I never felt understood in high school. I always kind of felt like an outcast. So I want to kind of bring everyone together here and be like, okay, I hear you. I understand you. And I want to give you guys love. So I wrote down a list of things that I know that I need to change about myself to be the person I want to be to achieve the goals that I want to achieve. And then also what you need to do is set four goals. A health goal, a financial goal, a career goal, and a random goal. Like something fun for yourself. So for me, I want to learn how to play the piano. And I want to travel internationally for the first time. And when you're doing those other things, they kind of will end up inspiring you. And you can use that for your other goals, if that makes sense. Like if I go travel, like there might be a lot that I learn. And it'll help me grow as a person. So I think just having like little goals like that also help you grow as a person. And also the one thing any successful person will tell you is that you need to sacrifice certain things to get to where you want to go. You can't keep living the way you're living and expect to be in a different place a year from now. The things that I need to sacrifice are like weed, alcohol, the parties, they all need to go. And another tip is to set short-term goals. So I always get really overwhelmed when like setting long-term goals. And I don't like setting goals in general because I'm like, if I don't get it done, then I'm going to feel like shit. So I'm just going to not. I'm just going to like let it play out and see what's going to happen. But no successful person will tell you that you can just get places without setting any goals. So um, what I read online was that set short-term goals, like six-month goals, that are going to get you to your long-term goals. So you can't just set a goal for like 10 years from now and be like, yeah, I'm going to do that in 10 years because that's never going to happen. Like you need to start doing it today. And the biggest part is just taking action. I'm a big thinker. I overthink everything, but 
thinking doesn't get you anywhere, you have to just start taking action. And giving up is the only way you can fail. If you just keep going and keep trying at it, you will eventually see the success that you want to see. I mean, unless it's really just not meant for you. And if you're like me and you didn't have these things taught to you, then we gotta learn all this stuff on our own. And that's really what I wanna document. Like, learning how to adult, and also like learning how to survive here in LA. I wanna kind of mix the two together because a lot of people do also come here really young. And the thing is like all the celebrities and stuff that come here, they get thrown into this and then they just have like people that they hire to do everything for them. There's people like Tana who really inspired me to do all of this because I saw she also came from a dark childhood like I did and she made something of herself. So I was like, I wanna do that too. But coming out here, I've been around Tana. I've seen how she really is and I'm actually kind of grateful that I have this time to like get my shit right before getting thrown in the spotlight. If that ever comes my way, I don't care who does. Like I don't even know if I wonder yet or not. I'm like, eh, but. I can kind of take that and learn from it and look at someone like Tana and be like, okay, this is what she did wrong. No offense, girl, love you, but this is what she did wrong. This is what I can do so I can be even better because I have that like outside perspective of like seeing what it did to her because I would be in the exact same position as her probably because I grew up with the same upbringing, super dark childhood with my parents and neglect and all of that and then going out and partying to get away from that. That's what I got thrown into again here in LA, but now I'm changing that course for myself and I hope Tana does one day too and really starts like learning how to actually take care of herself and all these things. I really wish the best for her. I had a great heart to heart with her. Like she's so sweet. I don't care what anyone says. She is really nice and she actually does care about her fans. Like she will stop and say hi to anyone and everyone and like she'll actually make it genuine too. But I was telling her like you know how she impacted me and stuff and she was like this is why I do this. Like just for even one person that I can help. And that shows that even after all of this like she still cares about that. Like that's what I care about right now. I'm like if I have one person watching this like that's all I care about and that's why I know her intentions are pure but she's just gone through so much that she's kind of just like getting by with these very unhealthy coping mechanisms I guess and so are so many people in LA and so many celebrities that get thrown into this so with all of that being said I'm gonna start vlogging my weeks and just kind of show you this new like journey that I'm on and show you the behind the scenes of like everything so if you're like me and you want to make these changes and see the success that you want to see in life I want you guys to sit down, write down four goals, career goals, health goals, financial goals, and just a little random like fun goal of yours. And also I want to be like the walking proof that you can do it. So that's why I'm starting this now because a lot of people just kind of show like they don't fully show it all and then you just kind of see them get to where they are and you're like, you don't fully understand how they even got there. So that's why I'm showing you we're going to do this. And if it works, you'll see that it works. So I'm going to give you all the little tips and tricks along the way. Hopefully I can inspire you guys to do the same and get yourself out of these positions. And I just want to inspire everyone to really live their best life because we only have one life. And I've lost people. I know a lot of people have lost people in the last year or so due to COVID or other things. And it just really put things into perspective for me that I want to make the most out of this life that I have here. All right, I'm gonna close out this video now, but thank you guys so much for staying here with me. I'm so excited for this journey and I hope you guys join me. I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful to have even the small amount of subscribers that I do have right now. Subscribe to my channel so you can follow along and see my weekly series that I'm gonna do. So cheers to being happy and healthy and living our best lives. Love you. I'll see you in the next one. Because, fuck, my ring lights are falling.